Seoul has nine official subway lines, 25 districts, 406 bus lines, and thousands of back alleys. Some are steep, some are crooked, some are only for cats. Like Alleyway 19. This is where Susie and Lee first met. Lee was wearing cowboy boots. Susie's hair was brown. Forty-two. This is where they puked their guts out at 3 a.m. in the morning after a stranger from New York bought them a free bottle of bourbon and told them about Papaya King. They entered a new territory of friendship. 163. Susie gets hangry, grows desperate, and they end up eating mediocre pork belly. They vow to find better barbecue options in the city of Seoul. Which leads to five. A better barbecue option in the city of Seoul. It's so good that Susie and Lee keep bringing visitors here. Friends, bosses, co-workers, strangers they met on the internet. Literally any excuse to eat here. <laughs> 24. The source of the ingredients for Susie's mom's kimchi, which is by far the best kimchi you'll ever eat. And it's also the first thing that Susie introduced to Lee when she first moved to her neighborhood. Lee continues to shop here because it's the only place open on a Sunday. Hmm. Two, Lee used to go jogging around here late at night when she couldn't sleep. <laughs> 32, Susie used to hang out here and would pass the summer nights in long conversation. Uh-huh. 29. This is the place where all the good things are at. The best coffee, the best croissants, and the best dumpling. It was great for Lee when she worked here, and great for Susie when her favorite shop was still in business. These are hard to pinpoint. Sometimes they don't have an address, and only could be described as where the old Ajashi hang out. Where the indie shop owners fight to keep rents low. Where all the teenagers smoke secretly. There will be more. More memories and more alleyways to discover.